Let's take a look at how to multiply a mixed number by a fraction. Multiply, simplify your answer and write it as a proper fraction or as a whole or mixed number. Okay, and we have six and one fourth times one half. So when you have a mixed number, it's usually easier to turn it into an improper fraction first before you try to work with it, before you try to multiply, divide, or even usually for addition or subtraction too. So the first thing I wanna do is take six and one fourth and rewrite it in an equivalent way as an improper fraction. So to do that, I'm gonna say the whole number, in this case six, times the denominator, four, that gives me 24, plus the one on the top gives me 25 out of four. So that means as an improper fraction, it has the same value as 25 over four. So basically what I did was I said six times four, right, the whole number times the numerator is 24. So that means another way to write six is 24 over four. Now notice if you divided this out, 25, or sorry, 24 divided by four, you would get six. But then that one fourth means we have to add the extra one to that, and that's where I got the 25 out of four from. And then we're gonna take that and we're gonna multiply by one half. The rule when you're multiplying with fractions is that you multiply straight across the numerator or top, and you also multiply straight across the denominator or bottom. So on the top, 25 times one gives me 25, and on the bottom, four times two gives me eight. Okay, now to simplify this, I wanna think how many times does eight go into 25? Well, eight goes into 25 three times, Right, eight times three would only give me 24. So that would mean there was one left over out of the eight. So this one eighth is another way to write your remainder. So if we were looking at 25 divided by eight, we could basically say, okay, if we were writing it out the long way for division, we would say, okay, eight goes into 25 three times but it doesn't go in evenly, right? Eight times three is 24, not 25. So that means we would have one left over. So sometimes we write that as three remainder one. When we're working with fractions, the whole number, right? Three becomes the whole number. How many times eight went into 25? Three whole times. And then the remainder becomes the fraction part of our mixed number. And we have one left over out of eight. So three and one eighth. This time I wanna multiply two fourths times six and two thirds. So the first thing I wanna do is take six and two thirds and turn it into an improper fraction. That just means a fraction where the top number or numerator is bigger than the bottom number or denominator. So to do that, I'm gonna multiply the whole number by the denominator. 3 times 6 gives me 18. Okay, and that's out of 3. So another way to write 6 is 18 out of 3. And again, of course, if you divided it, 18 divided by 3, you would get that 6. Plus, for the fraction part, it was 2 thirds, so that means I have to add another 2 onto that. So 18 plus 2 makes it 20. And the denominator or bottom number stays the same, out of 3. Okay, and I'm multiplying that by two fourths. Now, when I go to multiply this out, I can multiply straight across the top and straight across the bottom the way that these numbers are and simplify at the end. Or if I notice any common factors in the numerator and denominator, I can choose to simplify first to make my math a little easier. And if I see that, I usually like to do that because then it's gonna be easier to multiply and then easier to simplify at the end. So for example, I have a four in the denominator or bottom. Four goes into four one time and four goes into 25 times. So I can reduce that part. 
So now when I multiply straight across, that gives me 10. And on the bottom, one times three is three. So just by working with those smaller numbers, by reducing it first, I'm gonna have a smaller number answer to work with and less reducing to have to do at the end. Okay, now from here, an improper fraction, this is our answer, 10 over three, but an improper fraction is never considered simplified all the way. So that's why they're telling us to write it as a proper fraction, a whole, or a mixed number. So to turn this into a mixed number, I want to divide 10 divided by 3. Now notice, 10 does not divide evenly by 3. 3 does go into 10 3 times, but 3 times 3 gives us 9, not 10, so we have that 1 left over. So remember, one way to write this would be to say 3 remainder 1, but when we're working with fractions, we would say 3, and that remainder of 1 is out of our denominator of 3. So 3 and 1 third. Okay, I want to multiply 1 and 2 thirds times 1 fourth. Okay, so let's rewrite this mixed number as an improper fraction. So 1 times 3 gives me 3, so I could write that 1 as 3 over 3. And then, of course, I would still have to add that fraction part of 2 over 3. So if I add 3 over 3 and 2 over 3, that means it turns into an improper fraction of 5 over 3. And then I want to take that and multiply it by 1 fourth. Okay, in this case, I have pretty small numbers and nothing's going to simplify. So I'm going to go ahead and multiply straight across the top or numerator and straight across the bottom or denominator. So on the top, 5 times 1 gives me 5. And on the bottom, 3 times 4 gives me 12. So I wind up with 5 over 12. And I can see that matches up with my answer choice here. Okay, 10 and 2 thirds times 2 thirds. Let's start by taking our mixed number and making it an improper fraction. Okay, well 10 times three, right, the whole number times the denominator gives me 30. Okay, that would be out of three. And then I also have another two out of three. So if I put that all together, I'm gonna wind up with 32 out of three. And then I still need to take that and multiply by two thirds. Okay, if I multiply straight across the numerator or top and straight across the denominator or bottom, on the top, I'm gonna say 32 times two gives me 64. And in the denominator or the bottom, three times three gives me nine. Okay, and now I have 64 over nine but remember that improper fraction, meaning the bigger number on the top, is not simplified all the way. So I wanna divide this out and see what my fraction would be. Now again, you don't have to write it out this way, but I think it helps to think about it. 64 divided by nine. The first thing I wanna do is say how many times is 64, or how many times is nine gonna go into 64? Well, seven times, right? Nine times seven is 63. That's just a little smaller than 64. Okay, well, since nine times seven is 63, we would subtract that and get a remainder of one. So remember, when you're working with fractions, instead of saying seven remainder one, we would say seven, and that remainder of one is left over out of our total of nine, whatever the denominator was. So this would be seven and one ninth. Two and a half times two fourths. Okay, well let's make an improper fraction out of our mixed number here. So two times two gives me four. So I can think of that two as a four over two. And then I still have another half to add to that. So two. Four halves plus one half gives me five halves. 
right? So two and a half is equivalent or has the same value as five over two. And then I wanna take this and multiply by two fourths. Okay, we're gonna multiply straight across the top and straight across the bottom. And again, you can simplify first or at the end. The numbers aren't that big here, but you might notice I have a factor of two on the top and a factor of two on the bottom, so I can cancel those out, and that would just leave me with five over four. Okay, and then again, I wanna simplify even more. Now, if you think of this, if you said, all right, well, five divided by four, four goes into five one time, right? That gives us four. So if we say five minus four, we get one left over. So you might think of it as one remainder one, or another way to write that with fractions is to say one and one left over out of four, or one and one fourth.